If you thought your window of opportunity to get a free update to Windows 10 had ended, I'm here to show you today how to take your computer, whether it's running Windows 7 or 8, either home or professional version, and update that to Windows 10, free. And this happens right on Microsoft's website, and it is important that you do this. The reason being that Microsoft will begin phasing out support for older operating systems. So Windows 7, for example, they will stop issuing security updates in 2020. I'm recording this in 2019, and so it's still possible, even though the free update supposedly ended back in 2016, well, it's still possible. And when you finish this, you will end up with a fully activated and licensed copy of Windows 10. So let me show you how to do that. It's really easy, only takes a few clicks and a little bit of your time, and you should be up and running in just a few hours. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to download and install software to make the upgrade possible. The easiest way to find this is to just go to Google, type in download Windows 10. What you want to look for is more than likely it'll be this first link here. You want to click on that, then you want to click on download tool now. And down here is where you'll see this. This is in Chrome. If you're using a different browser, it may you may see a little notification up here about a download or maybe even be down here in the middle. And all I want to do now is just click on that and I'm going to say yes and that's running the, uh, the download tool on my computer. And it'll say getting a few things ready and you may have to wait a few seconds here. The download tool manages the process of downloading Windows for you. So that's the first thing that we have to do. One of the things you'll learn about this process is a lot of waiting <laughs> between clicks. All right, so here's the part where you have to agree to this or you don't go any further. So I'm just gonna click accept. And now it's just getting a few things ready again. And so this process can take a little while. Just be prepared to watch it and click when required. All right, it gives you a couple of options here. You can either upgrade this PC, the one that we're actually on here, or you can create an installation media. You might want to download and install the files onto a USB drive or a DVD if you have more than one computer that you need to update or maybe you need to go to someone's home or business and help them update their computer. This is a good way you can do that without having to go to that location and download the, the files again. So you can do it once and then save it onto those medium and then you'll have it everywhere. Uh, you would need, a, I believe it's an eight gigabyte drive. The USB drive is the minimum. But in my case, I'm just going to install the file right here on this computer. So I'll click next. Now we are downloading the actual Windows installation files. This process can take anywhere from 10 minutes to maybe 30 minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Mine should take about, in my case, I think it'll take about 15 minutes. All right, we've got our download complete. Now it's just going to verify that the download was actually good. All right, so the media has been verified. Now Windows is just checking for any updates that might be available. Now it's checking the PC. I believe just for compatibility reasons, they're, they're uh, there may be issues with hardware, things that aren't necessarily supported. You may run into uh, hardware that Windows doesn't think Windows 10 is going to be uh, able to support. So you may get some notifications about that. All right, once again, we need to accept the license. Okay, so uh, I'm ready to install. It tells you a couple of things here. 
Um, first of all, it tells you you're not going to be able to use your PC while it installs. So if you have anything open at this point, you need to close it. You have been working up to this point on your computer. You need to make sure you close any files. And then it tells you it's going to install Windows 10. In my case, I've got Windows Pro uh, on here. And then it's, it is going to keep my personal files and applications. That's really, for most, most of us, that's probably the most important thing, right? So uh, you can change what you want to keep. Uh, if, if you have anything that you don't need, uh, if you were maybe just going to wipe this computer, you could skip saving the personal files and the apps, but I'm going to keep mine. So I'm going to click install and this is, uh, this is the process. Now this could take quite a good bit of time depending on your PC, uh, the speed of your machine, the processor, the hard drive, etc. Um, it will possibly restart several times during this phase and so just be, be aware of that. If you walk away you may need to come back and check on it. The installation has rebooted the computer. It's probably going to reboot a couple more times before the installation completes. So we just keep on going. All right, great, we've made it through the upgrade process and now we're basically just setting up the computer for the next phase of our computer use. This is Windows 10 now. And here you gotta give the device uh, some privacy settings. You know what, turn it all off is my kind of opinion. If any of this is something you need later, you're gonna be prompted to turn it back on. So I'm gonna just turn all these things off and it'll tell you, you know, give you a little, um, reason or problems if there's going to be issues you won't be able to use dictation for example if you use cortana so uh, you'll be able to turn that on later and just turn all this stuff off they don't need to know everything about you right okay so let's go and we'll accept that and uh, it will usually it's going to come up in a in a lower resolution video resolution so one of the first things you might want to do is uh, update the uh, the computer to make sure the resolution is right now part of that may be related to a video card that maybe it, it couldn't find a, a driver for your current video card hopefully that uh, is something that you have you can get easily anyway you can see a couple of things are coming up here it's just going through a list of things that uh, maybe need to be adjusted or changed and so you'll see just a welcome page here original when you first come up but uh, basically everything looks the same here except i'm at a lower resolution uh, it added the microsoft edge browser and so let's see if we can uh, go back and change the display settings and let's change this to 1920 by 1080 and it seems to have worked so again that's probably the first thing you might have to do is adjust your video settings okay so everything seems to be good that didn't take too long now one of the things you may run into is you have software that doesn't work or it needs to be updated perhaps uh, i believe that i will need to make a slight update to my antivirus software you may need to do that as well um, the norton's antivirus software that i use has to make a slight adjustment uh, to, to work with Windows 10. I've discovered that on another couple of machines. You may be wondering if your 
device is truly activated with Microsoft. So you can just come down here, type activation, and let's just click on activation settings. And you can see right here it says Windows is activated with a digital license. So everything's okay, we're good, no issues with Microsoft and this computer is good to go at this point. One other thing you might want to check on is updates to Windows. Even though you just went and installed Windows 10, you would think it might be updated, but there may be some other things that, that aren't updated yet. So you could just type um, check for updates. I just typed update and then click on check for updates. And it may already be working on some updates here. Um, it says no updates available. I'll click check that and it'll just go out to Microsoft and quickly see if there's anything that needs to be updated on, on this machine. And so there you go. There's several things including a uh, display driver for my video card. Uh, so, you know, some of this stuff just doesn't get installed when you install the Windows 10 update. So you may run through a number of these updates like this to get your computer fully updated. And, um, but most of this stuff, obviously these things weren't needed to make Windows 10 work properly. Well, that's the update process to get Windows 10 on your computer if it's running Windows 7 or 8. And you may see some different messages that come up along the way, different from what I had, just depending on your hardware and your software. So be aware, you may have to read some messages on the screen and just follow the prompts and make those changes as needed in your situation. But that's it. Enjoy your new updated Windows 10 computer. You'll have all the security updates that Microsoft is constantly releasing and your computer should be good to go for hopefully years to come. Thanks for watching. I'm Fred Kelly, your nerd sidekick, making you the technology hero. And if you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you get notified of future videos. And I will see you on that next video.